very good morning children previous uh, video we were discussed about uh, c++ programming and about uh, c++ programming and how to write uh, simple programs in c++ and the programming structure i hope you understand the concepts of c++ programming so before you are going to study about programming languages you have to know something about begin the execution and the compilation of programming languages once we enter the programming in system what happens in compilation okay so you have to know something about program compile and program execution what do you mean by compilation and program execution once you have typed the program you have to execute the program before that you have to compile the program so there is any errors we have to find the errors in system uh, languages and sys, uh, syntax errors the process of program compilation is we have entered the program in turbo c++ editor and we are converting to high level language to low level language that means alphabet letters to missing code zeros and ones when we converting uh, these process the compilation checks the errors there, there is any syntax error or there is any spelling mistakes so we have to give correct instruction statements in the programming editors so this process is compiling the program execute means once we have uh, uh compile the program there is no errors in your programming you have to give input values and we have to get the output values this is the process called execute the program so now you understand what is program compilation and execution of program in this video i am going to give more information about programming compilation and executions what is machine language assembly language what are the process we have in when we compile the program and execute the program and we are going to learn about interpreters and assembly language and machine language these informations this video helps you understand about programming compilation and execution process begin the uh, programming so watch the video from beginning to end and um, understand about the program compilation and execution this to topics hardware and software interface uh, layers of the machines so we know uh, what is hardware and what is software uh, the components of computer system it's hardware and the software interface it's applications we are installing in the, into system and next thing you are going to know about kinds of software uh, we have a two categories of software i will explain you and uh, you are going to learn about computer languages and what are the computer languages available <coughs> and uh, syntax and semantics grammars we are going to uh, learn what is syntax and what is semantics and what is grammars what happens to your program once you have entered the program what will be happen in system so uh, these are the uh, main outlines of this uh, video you are going to uh, learn i will explain one by one what is a compilation what is a linking and what is execution and how to find a program errors and how you have to get the uh, output of your program look at uh, this slide uh, we have uh, two types of uh, software categories uh, one is system software and another one is application software what is system software uh, programs written for computer systems uh, like uh, operating system windows 10 and uh, windows 7 and uh, windows 98 uh, linux and uh, unix uh, these are uh, called system software and next thing uh, application softwares what is what are the application softwares it's uh, like a uh, programs written for uh, end users like a uh, word processors a spreadsheet and uh, any uh, user uh, uh, related applications or conversion of uh, manual work to automations something example for uh, application software tally and a ticket booking system uh, these are the examples examples for application softwares uh, this is the picture for a layered uh, view of the computer application programs uh, it's like a word process uh, spreadsheets a database software and integrated development environment ides system software compilers interpreters preprocessors and etc 
operating system and device drivers we can see uh, these are system software and uh, machine with all its hardware uh, components of uh, physical devices here uh, we are looking operating system uh, what is operating system uh, it provides uh, it gives interface uh, between computer hardware and end user and softwares loading and rendering application programs allocating memory and processor time providing input and output facilities these are the main uh, jobs are done by operating system we are installing windows os and linux os and unix os these are the operating systems so this is the definition for os and it can it, it will manage files of information and in this slide uh, gives explanation of uh, what is programs computer programs uh, it is uh, instructions uh, programs are written in programming language it can be any language c programming uh, c++ programming visual basic programming java uh, we have more programming languages uh, in the technology uh, it is a uh, what is in instructions pl programming language it's a piece of the same program can be written in different programming languages uh, a pl a programming language is a special purpose and limited language a set of rules and symbols used to construct a com computer program. It, it will be uh, written for uh, something to create some applications to so you want to create uh, some uh, ticket booking system or create your uh, tally uh, applications you have to write a program for create that software a language used to interact with your computer once you have created on software applications it will be installed in your system you can use that application to interact with your computer and you can give your inputs you will get some outputs uh, this is the what are uh, computer programs so program is a uh, uh, simple it's a collection of instructions it can be written uh, any programming languages uh, this is the explanation of uh, programs uh, let me explain uh, computer languages we can classify computer languages as three types machine language assembly language and high level language machine language uh, uses a binary code zeros and ones assembly language uses um, it's a machine dependent uh, codes it's like a binary codes and high level language uh, uses english like language alphabet letters and a machine independent portable but it must be compared for different platforms examples uh, c c++ uh, java for any uh, platform uh, these are uh, uh, things uh, you are going to learn uh, in a programming languages here uh, we are looking what is machine language uh, machine language it's like a combination of uh, zeros and ones example you are entering your name in computer it converted uh, to as a machine language zeros and ones because computer does not understand alphabet letters it can understand only zeros and ones so what is machine language the representation of computer program which is actually read and understood uh, by computer computer can understand only zeros and ones it's called a machine language a program in machine code consists of a sequence of machine instructions and here uh, what is instructions machine instructions are in binary code it's a combination of zeros and ones you can see the example uh, table it's a uh, zero zero and one zero uh, something alike and uh, look at this slide uh, it's an uh, expression of assembly language what is assembly uh, language a symbolic representation of machine language of a specific preprocessor so what is this uh, once you have entered some uh, instructions uh, in a system it is converted uh, to bi binary code zeros and ones and uh, the binary code is converted to machine code by an assembler it is called assembler examples you are giving some input values or variables creation of variables uh, in, in this example you can see load tag something so the binary code is converted to correspondence assembly using assembler and uh, high level language uh, what is high level language using uh, alphabet letters it's a high level language a programming language which is used as statements consisting of english like keywords such as a uh, for print using combination of alphabet letters it's a it's a meaning for it's a what a high level language uh, we are writing statements in programming using high level languages it's a very simple our uh, next part of computer programming uh, is syntax and semantics what is syntax it's a general format when you are writing statements in programming you have to follow some syntax the structure of a strings in some language a language syntax is described by grammar so you have to follow that grammar rule or syntax and you have to write your statements in programming semantics the meaning of the language 
uh, it is called what the meaning of language so i will explain uh, at the end of the video you can understand what is semantics here we are looking uh, more explanation for syntax and grammars syntax descriptions for programming language are themselves written in formal language and the formal language is not a pl but it can be implemented by compiler to enforce grammar restrictions so uh, every programming language they have written some formats you should follow that format and you have to create your statements following the rules the system will understand only that uh, syntax and uh, next we are looking here uh, compilers and programs what is compiler a program that converts another program from some source language to uh, high level language to machine language we are writing program in using english letters alphabet letters and it will be converted to machine codes it's a compiler some compilers output assembly language which is uh, then converted to machine language by a separate assembler it is distinguished from an assembler by a fact that each input statement once you have written program it will be converted to some other uh, languages this job done by compiler uh, example uh, english language high level language to machine level language uh, these are the compilers uh, in this uh, pictorial representative uh, for a compilation into a assembly language uh, source program we are writing source program in any programming language the compiler converts it to assembly language and assembly language the assembler will con converts to a machine code so now you, you are clear with what is uh, uh, what is compiler and what is a machine code so machine code is like simple converting english letters to zeros and ones assembler assembly language the job done by assembler converting to machine dependent codes uh, you can understand uh, clear what is compilation of program uh, here you can understand better uh, object of program what is compilers and programs uh, object of program output from the compiler once you have written some uh, instructions programs in a computer you will get uh, some outputs uh, the job done by compiler and equivalent machine language translation of the source program the high level language letters uh, statements converted to machine codes job done by compiler files usually have extensions .obj this is the extension file for uh, object program so uh, compiling uh, it's a machine code it we can understand but the system will convert your english language to compilers sorry machine codes and executable program output from a linker and loader and you will uh, you can it will convert it it will uh, uh, link uh, some um, statements instructions in that compiler you will get uh, it uh, your outputs and next thing we are going to learn what is linker it's a simple uh, what is the meaning for the word link joining something so, uh, same here a program that folds other programs together so that they can run uh, most programs are very large and consists of several modules modules is like a uh, what a uh, segmentation of programs the linker it links all the modules all together so once you have completed it will uh, link all the modules and uh, give a consolidated outputs uh, this is the uh, picture for running programs and uh, you can understand uh, better um, you can see here uh, steps that the computer goes through to run program once you have entered the program any in any language visual basic c++ java programming you are giving some input data see here you are giving input data and inside the computer the compiler linker all both are working converts our english language to a high level language to machine codes program executable file and data entered during execution you are giving some data to get some outputs its input values and computer results the cpu the processor are computing the results uh, the compilers uh, linkers all are working together and you will get your program outputs clear so key, this is the programs uh, this is the programming uh, structure and how it works inside the processor okay uh, this is the, uh, this uh, job done by uh, compilers linkers assemblers so we now we are clear with what is compiler what is assembler what is a uh, linker so here you can see uh, this picture you will get uh, more ideas about how uh, the program runs and how you can get uh, your output of your program and uh, let me explain uh, the execution of program uh, steps taken by the cpu to run a program uh, first one uh, fetch on instructions uh, you are written some statements it's uh, it will fetch uh, from system a uh, decode interpret the instructions it will convert it to machine code retrieve data if needed if any data is needed it will be retrieved by uh, uh, compilers 
and execute the codes will be executed to actual processing it will be executed to a uh, machine language and uh, it will run the compiler read all the statements one by one and its corresponding machine code there is any error system will show errors there is no errors it will goes to next step and store the results if needed so these are the main steps uh, when uh, executing your programs and uh, this is the uh, main part of uh, any programming language errors so uh, we are humans we can make uh, errors uh, but system when you uh, it won't uh, make errors because uh, it will work based on your instructions once you enter a program there is any error uh, suppose you entered a wrong statement or a spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes or you did not follow semantics grammars as per the programming language so a system will show errors uh, there is a uh, um, uh, three types of errors syntax errors runtime error and logical errors so uh, these are the types of errors when you complete your program you can see when you execute your program uh, these type of errors what is a syntax error errors in grammar of the language in mistakes in uh, statements uh, letters runtime error uh, divide by zero giving wrong input values or invalid input data or something program completes execution but delivers incorrect results incorrect usage of parentheses and uh, this slide uh, gives more uh, explanation of what is compilation the source program uh, it converts to com compiler uh, and a targeted a target program they were giving input values and uh, process cpu process the statements of uh, logical parts and you will get some outputs the compiler translates source into target a machine language program compiler goes away it execution time so this is the process to get your outputs the job done by compiler it is called compilation of the programming so this is the main step and the main concept you have to understand what is compilation and the next we are learning here what is interpretation uh, source program and you are giving input values so the interpreter it gives some outputs the interpreter stays around during execution it reads and executes statements one at a time so the compiler will read all the statements in, in your programming one by one the interpreter it gives a corresponding meaning to the every statements so both are working to get your outputs compiler and interpreter uh, I hope you can understand better what is compilation and interpretation. What is compilation? Syntax errors caught before running the program. Better performance. Decisions made once at compile on time. What is interpretation? Better diagnostics and error messages. More flexibility and supports late binding. Supports creation modification of program code on the fly. Uh, these are the uh, differences between compiler and interpretation. Uh, here we are looking at Java programming, uh, the execution uh, or compiler uh, structure. Uh, we are entering Java statements and the compiler and uh, machine language uh, and it converts to uh, machine language, high level languages, English letters convert to machine language. This is the job done by compiler and the machine language codes uh, gives a corresponding meaning. It's this is the job done by interpreter it's uh, as a byte code for flexibility. In Java, there is a just-in-time uh, technology. It converts uh, this process within a second. It is called just-in-time. So this is the example for compilation structure in Java pro programming.